Yeah, we're wearing black uniforms this week and go out and get in the stadium. You kind of forget about it sometimes and then walk in and you're like, oh, this is the game. So put it on and go play. You know, Nothing Maryland really wore black uh, Saturday and got beat 28 nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not I'm not very I'm not a extremely superstitious guy. We got I mean tons of guys on the team that do everything the same, but I'm not one of those kind of guys that gets caught up in that stuff. You know. How did you uh, guys come out defensively feeling like you played Saturday? I mean, because there were moments where you're really stuffing them, but then you know they hit the big play and it comes down to the end. Of what what was the takeaway? I guess you guys had coming out of Saturday. It was I think it was a great effort. That's that's one thing we could take away. Um, there were things that we did really well, stuffed them on first and second down a lot. Um, and then sometimes we they, they hit us with something, something big, that the quarterback run, uh, some crazy throws, different looks. And, and every team's going to continue to do that to us. They're going to continue to come out. And uh, when you're place, playing against Ohio State, when you're playing against the defending champions and all, all that stuff that people get caught up in, they're gonna get your, we're going to get their best shot. We're going to get their best shot from the coaches. We're going to get the best shot from uh, the players. So we're continuing to get looks that that they've never shown on film, that we're continuing to get looks that, that they never had a tendency to do. Um, so it's almost like a lot of teams are saving up. Um, and it's unique, but it's a lot of fun because they're going to get, they're, we're going to get their best shot, but we're going to give them our best shot back too. How bothersome is it right after, you know, Zeke has the big touchdown run, you go two touchdowns, and then as a defense, are you, it's a, does it anger you when you give up a play like that uh, that got them right back into the game? Do you, uh, Zeke scored, and they went up. You guys were well, two scored. touchdowns, and then it was the first play that uh, their quarterback had. The, had yeah, the I mean, to. when we came out at that point, we were kind of trying to finish it. You know, um, that was kind of our mentality: give them another stop, give them another stop, give the ball back to mm -hmm. Zeke in the offense. Um, but then that that play happened. Yeah, it was, it's disappointing. Um, but it's always Coach Vick always talks about next play. That's the most important play, and um, we bounced back and, and kept fighting through it. Marquan Lewis is a guy who has kind of emerged on the defensive line. Just seems like a guy fans might not know that much about. So, how would you describe just his personality and then kind of his journey to emerging? It's underrated, um, and and what his work ethic is unbelievable. The way he practices, the way he goes about his business um, in the film room and on the practice field is unbelievable. And obviously, I mean, I don't I don't know how underrated he's going to be after this game. He was he was our player of the game. He had maybe two or three tackles for loss in the backfield. He was all over the place. Um, so he's he's just an unbelievable player on our team. And those defensive ends are really playing with Joey and uh, obviously Joey and Taekwon, but then Jalen and, and Sam Hubbard as well playing really well. So uh, that, that unit's doing really well for us. Cam, with all the expectations for this team, I remember Joshua saying that one of the mottos for this team was no rock stars and no rock star mentality where do you think this team is with that at this point in the season yeah i think i think that's that's one of the most important parts when when you're trying to to just take it week by week and game by game that um you try to take out the noise you it's all it's all about nine units strong and we're not worried about how many carries how many tackles how many touchdowns all that stuff we're just trying to win every game and and w Coach Meyer talks about all the time that when it comes down to it, the, the, the best team in the stadium, we just want to be the best team in the stadium each week. Um, and that's what really is most important. Urban mentioned that last year's team did a good job with that, but the year before 2013, he, he saw some signs of some troubles in that regard. Where, I mean, where would you place this team maybe in comparison to those two? Uh, I, I think it's great. I think we talk about the foundation of our team. We talk about lacking cracks and lacking uh, selfless, selfish, uh, behavior and intentions. Um, I think it's it's a one a. That's really something that we look out for. Older guys look out for. Um, we kind of keep each other in track with it. So it's really really big. Cam, okay, you're very much a, a student of the game. How well is Von Bell playing at a safety at the safety spot right now? I mean, just can you can um, you uh, equate it to something? Unbelievable. I think. I mean. He's one of the most valuable players on our team just from what we ask him to do, playing out there in space. Uh, the Sam, we asked the Sam to get in some fits, and Vaughn is out there on an island sometimes mm -hmm. playing off man. Um, it's arguably the toughest position on our defense. So what he's doing is just unbelievable. It's, it's priceless. You can't even put a number on it, how, yeah. how great he's been playing. So he's been playing really well. Hey, Cam, you talked about earlier about how teams are doing things that you don't see on film. With Maryland, they've already used two different starting quarterbacks, might go to a third. They've changed their starting offensive line, changed their starting wide receivers. Is there an advantage to at least know that 
going in, you should expect to the unexpected because it's hard to get a read on them. Yeah, I think at this point, our focus is, is almost less about what the other teams do. It's more about what we do and focusing on our, our fundamentals and our, um, our rules and stuff like that, that you don't know what's going to come out of that gate. You don't know what they're going to do. Just like the offense, they've, they've been, teams have been coming out in 4-3 all season and then they come out in a bare front or an odd front that's totally different from what they've been doing. So it's more about what we do and focusing on uh, our culture and ourselves. When you, Couple more questions. when you have that situation where you don't know what to expect from the opposing offense, what do you do in practice? Well, we, I mean, you, you can't chase ghosts. Coach right. Fix says that all the time. You can't chase what you think they're going to do. So we, we continue to practice what they do because, I mean, we have gotten some different looks, but at the end of the day, we're still definitely going to get what they've some tendencies in what they've done. So we, we definitely still practice that. So. Cam, Ray, Rayquan has talked so much about how much you've meant his development. I know everything hasn't gone perfectly according to plan for you, but why is it important for you to still be a, a great teammate? You get your opportunities, but maybe some other people might have had opportunities elsewhere. Why is it important for you to kind of still be such a good teammate? It's just love. It's I mean, love for my teammates. Love, I mean, my linebackers, those are those are my dudes, man. Those are my best friends. Um, it, that, it's a brotherhood that's, that's undescribable. Um, and then obviously love for this university and what it's done for me. Um, and it's a combination of both of those two. Um, and it's, it's been fun. It's been a lot of fun. And when my opportunity comes, I'm having a great time with it. Um, and, and it's been good. And even if, just along with that, even if everything hasn't gone perfectly, is it still loved your time here? And Absolutely. Yeah, it's been a, it's been a great time here. Uh, had some great friends, met some great people, have great opportunities after this as well. So it's, it's been great. Do you want to go into Last coaching? Because, I mean, Rick Hornick <coughs> said that he'll, he'll sometimes come over to the sideline and he doesn't even need to talk, talk to Coach Fick. He'll just go to you instead. Yeah, I've, I've thought about it. I think what I'm leaning towards right now is actually scouting. I want to um, go into NFL scouting when it's all said and done. I want to stay in football, um, especially now that I'm young and I'm just possibly getting out of football. That, that would definitely be my, my next move, probably.